Hey, it's Phil. Let's uh continue on. Been a minute again. Uh, <laughs> Grimer. Okay, and we've got Natu uh, in the purification chamber. Yeah, so I guess we're rolling with Grimer. Probably not even gonna use it, but let's keep it there. Uh, and items. I believe Numel has charcoal. She does. And Umbreon has a focus band. Didn't Teddy have a... Yeah, Sooth Bell. We don't have a whole lot of held items. They're not always, like, the most important. But they can be pretty, um... Can be pretty important. EXP share. Um... Okay. We've got a Water Stone and a Leaf Stone as well. Um... Oh, an Ice Beam! I forgot I grabbed that. I mean, that's going on Sveal. Oh, maybe she... No, she can learn it. She can learn it. Either I didn't know I picked that up, or just forgot. Ice Beam is very powerful. Look at that 95 power. Um, and as you can see, Aurora Beam is 65. Um, so the the power of a, of an attack is based on the like corresponding stat so these are special moves it doesn't actually say that it's a special move but it is so that is modified by Sfeel's special attack stat which is i believe her highest stat no it's probably a defensive stat but higher than physical attack Oh, it is her highest stat. Yeah, 42. So that means 95... Okay, I'm not gonna get into the math, because I'm, I'm not... I, I can't. Um, but the point is... That 95 is, like, attached to the 42. And then I believe there can be, like... I believe there's a bit of randomness involved, too. So you can get like a higher roll or lower roll um, in terms of how, how hard it hits. So it's not, you're not always working in consistent numbers. There's a bit of randomness to it. Um, but yeah. Is there any reason to check these spots? I am not sure. Anyway. Because I feel like we got the notification and I just never went. Uh oh. The scooter can't get through the sand. I remember that. Yes. Hey, do I have mail? Net from Pyrite asked to help locate a missing Pokemon. It was among those missing at the SS Libra. Visit us in Pyrite and speak with the missing Pokemon's owner. Okay. Yeah, sure. Never mind, that wasn't a convenient solution, it was something new. I keep forgetting Pyrite's down here. I'm looking for, like, rust. This symbol here is always weird to me, because it I always interpret it as a kid as like a smiling face. With like the orange spaces in between being like eyes. But I think it's just some sort of like. Actually, I have no idea. I'm like turning my head. Yeah, no, I, I don't 
I don't know what that is. But I've always seen it as like a face of some sort. Th this guy, I... And that guy. Man, you sure do come here a lot. I forgot. All the way up. So lately, um... I've been excited for the uh, the Avengers game by Square Enix. Um, I was really skeptical when I first saw it because I don't. It's it the marketing really doesn't do it any justice. It's hard to tell what kind of a game it even is. Little girl who's crying. I'll help you find your Pokemon. I'll finish my thought after the cutscene. Yes, of course. Oh, Bonsly! Okay, I had a, I had an inkling that it might be Bonsly, because I remember finding it where the SS Libra is located. Bonsly is among my tiny bonsai trees. Bonsly is, uh, yeah, it's, he says right here, it's a new species. It's a Pokemon from Gen 4. So, this game is our first look at Bonsly before that generation is out. So you can't get one yourself, but it's always fun to see stuff like that. Explain what happened in the desert. Pair and Gadian Port. Mechanical parts shop with his grandpa. So they're going to give us some ways across the desert, and uh, I remember exactly what it is. I remember liking it. Uh, but yes, uh, the Avengers game, I tried out the beta, which ran... Um, I was actually uh, slightly stupid and uh, misread the dates for it The on, on the PlayStation, which is what I'm playing it on. Um, there were actually two open beta times. But I only participated in the last one, but that's okay, I got a lot of time out of it. Um, and I got to play it with a friend as well. So, uh, yeah, it was fun. But, um, it's... It, it, the, the marketing really doesn't tell you what kind of a game it is. Because it's going for a lot of different things. It's kind of just this weird amalgamation gumbo pot of different games. And I'm in. I'm into it, honestly. Um, Realgum is the. Oh my god! I said amalgamation, so I was thinking of Realgum Tower. Yeah. No. It's Katie Import. <laughs> uh, oops. Anyway. I I'm definitely not gonna go out and tell people to buy it, because it's very much like. A grindy kind of slightly repetitive game um but i'm someone who loves beat-em-ups so i'm totally okay with that kind of thing uh across the desert conversion kit oh and the news hey that's me ma i'm on tv Look at that stupid. Oh my god. Yeah, get out of here. You got beat by a child. The entire Aurora region is endangered again. It's clearly not. I'm protecting everyone. I'm this amazing hero child with a group of small animals. Aw, thanks. Of course he's at Kimiko's Manor. Yeah, I was gonna call it. I remembered having to go there to 
for this quest. Uh, it's weird, actually. I'm, I'm starting to remember this section of the game a bit more. Yes. Okay, I actually do remember this part a good bit. Hmm, congratulating me, huh? What a weirdo. Strange vibe off of those guys. But yeah, so it, it really came down to whether or not I enjoyed the gameplay loop of the beta, because I could tell that I was going to be doing a lot of the same thing over again. And I am pretty okay with repetition in games. Um, I have played thousands of hours of... Oh. Speaking of repetition, I think I'm going insane. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's not do that again. Spooky house. Okay. I'm totally good with repetition. I play a lot of older games, arcade type games. I play fighting games by myself, which is totally besides the point. It's like totally meant to be played with other people, but I'm good with it. I just like the rhythm of it. And we're gonna do this whole song and dance again. Hello, Chobin. I'm an intruder, right? Yeah. And yet you have the time to give a whole monologue. Like, your facial recognition is very poor. Still with the sun current, but now he's got Gyarados. Dang. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, Intimidate as well. That's a good ability. Let's hit Gyarados with the return. And might as well bite Sunkern. Sunkern is very weak. It's one of the weakest Pokemon. Um, its evolution is fine, Sunflora, but... I mean, we're talking about a literal Sunflower Seed. Yeah. I'm surprised it didn't kill. I'm not surprised that that didn't kill, though. Ah, uh, Ingrain. Yeah, it should be okay. Take it out with Quick Attack next turn. Um, hit it with the return again. He's only got two Pokemon. But, uh, yeah, I quite, I quite enjoyed the beta. There was a good amount of missions to play. Uh, and there was, like, a lot of types of missions as well. Um... And mind you, like, my, um, I don't want to say bias, because that's, it can be a bit of a negative connotation, it's more so just, like, an affinity towards Marvel. I really love Marvel, like, since I was very little. Um, and let that be a little bit of a clue as to what I might play next. Um, no spoils. But, uh, <laughs> nice move. But I feel that if it wasn't the characters, you know, like the playable Avengers that I know and love, I wouldn't be very into the game. But I, I think uh, it does it does have some merits. I think the gameplay loop is fun. I think the mission structure is fun. It very much feels like... Oh wow, that was very low damage. Hit Umbreon again, please. Yes. Uh, I give you four characters to use in the beta. There will be six at launch. Um, and all the future ones that they add will be free. Which is very nice. Um, there's still, like, a few microtransactions, which I wish, I wish the game industry would just ditch that altogether. I am just so sick of, you know, just added costs when the game already costs a fortune. Uh, someone's at the door. Oh, don't mind the dogs. Yeah, there's Kameko. I apologize if the uh, dog barking is really chaotic. There's not a whole lot I could do about it, because I don't want to have you guys miss anything. This is the part, is it? Nice. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. 
I don't think it's the most important part of the game, but it's definitely very memorable. So Kaminko here is also a bit of a dingus. Yeah. Oh, this part is really memorable. Robo Pokemon. Robo Groudon. Oh man, I love this part. Just... what? Yep. Like, really? We doing this? Straight from the Groudon Fountain. Oh, I, I love this. I I just love this. Look at him. He's so weird looking. Oh, like... Like, it's so good. We are actually fighting this robot. Like, for real, we're not battling his Pokemon. No, we are. Oh my god, I misremembered. That's so embarrassing. I thought we got to battle the Groudon. Still memorable. <laughs> I still stand by it. And at least his Sun Current has evolved, and he's got two more Pokemon. Oh man. Yeah, I definitely hyped it up as a kid. But either way, it's memorable, if I remembered it. Very cool. Get Sveal and uh, Flaffy in here. That's so out of left field. That is not something that you see in like mainline Pokemon games. Although I think there was something like that in the sequels to Black and White. There was some kind of like movie studio thing where you could fight like weird bosses. And there go my dogs again. Come on, puppies. Okay. Wow, Sunflora's neck is super weird looking. I kind of like it. Okay, we're gonna Ice Beam Sunflora. That's gonna do a lot of damage. And then Thunder Shock on Gyarados. Ooh, it's still Thrashing. Thrash is very strong. It goes on for, I think, three turns, and then it gets confused. It's quite a strong move. Uh, but yeah. Um, I, I, I like the uh, move variety in the Avengers beta. Uh, even just between the four characters, I had fun with all of them. And you got to try the other two uh, in like a tutorial mission. That was uh, not the best showing of the game, I don't think. I think it's more fun after it opens up a bit more. Um, yeah, I, uh, I quite liked it. I'm looking forward to playing it. Hopefully this doesn't kill anyone. Okay, Flaffy stuck it out. Good boy. Oh, this is bad. This might kill Flaffy. Yeah, 10? Yeah, it's gonna kill him. That's too bad. I don't think we have anyone else with electric moves besides uh, someone we purified that I would remember commenting like, whoa, they have discharge? Um, so let's just get... Umbreon, I suppose. Uh, but yeah. The game is good. It's not something I would, uh, recommend to everybody, but it's something that I definitely jive with. I think it's pretty good. Um, I think I will be playing it quite a lot. And, uh, hop it! Got all these really weak Gen 2 Pokemon. And then just the giant dragonfish. Like, th that's gonna one shot hop it, but I will bet money on that. Ah, oh, Leech Seed. That's unfortunate. I think Leech Seed continues after hop it gets KO'd. And that's lucky. Okay. Take out the giant dragon? Yes. Good stuff. Okay. And we got a level on Sphiel. Okay. Tropius! That's a nice one. 
also grass flying, so Sphiel will obliterate it. I should give her a heal just in case. Give Sphiel a heal. It's right there in her name. Okay. Um, I'll use Umbreon's turn to heal her. Just a regular potion, I suppose. She just needs to take one more hit. Yeah, and I think Razor Leaf is still super effective, even though she's ice type. Yeah, okay, that was a good call. Wow, the effect on Ice Beam looks really cool in this. And it's down. Tropius is so cool. Or Tropius? Trop tropical? I'm not sure. I'm sure watching Pokemon games is very... Aww. Oh, Aww, oh, that's a great animation. And then the smoke comes out. Yeah, I remembered that. Weird. I think I was so hype looking at it that I was convinced. Yeah, of course. Like, all that whole song and dance, and then you didn't even realize. I was gonna build a Robo Kyogre. So he gets to keep the grout on. And I believe we get the parts of the Robo Kyogre for our scooter. Okay, we rematch. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I do fight it at some point. I don't think so, though. I feel like I was wrong. Oh, is, is the dude not here? Oh. What? Maybe he'll make a real Pokemon drive it. Yeah, maybe don't do that. Can't go in there. And now I can. Strange elevator. Oh, look at the Kyogre parts. Love it. Oh, don't go back up. Wait, let's just see if there's anything in the corner. No? Anything in the trash? No, okay. <laughs> it was an accident, I didn't intentionally go back up. But yeah. I just wanted to sidestep it and... Oh, Rare Candy! Good stuff. That's a free level. Level up, I mean. Uh, okay, let's talk to the dude. So we use the parts from this guy over here. Hover scooter! Oh, it looks so cool too. Uh, is everyone healed? No. This game doesn't give you free heals. The newer Pokemon games will sometimes give you like little courtesy heals. But uh, not, not, this, not this gen. I don't want the videos to go on for too long, though. I think I might start. Yay! Natu's purified. Uh, that's a shop. Pokemon Center's here, I believe. I want to try and cut my videos a little shorter, because I've been getting, um... They've been getting a little drawn out. Um, it's not, you know, super intentional. <laughs> uh, still trying to get a feel for it. But, um, it's not like I have a lot of people watching anyway. So... 
I'm curious if this shop has any, like, held items I could use. Although I doubt it. They've added some stuff. Let's buy. Yeah, let's buy a bunch of gray balls. Take seven. Stock up some super potions. We're down to two. I'll take ten. No. Revive. Yeah, we'll bump it up to six revives. Okay. Now we're a little low on money, but that's okay. That stuff is all going to go to use. Hopefully not too much use. Okay. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I don't want the videos to go on too long. Uh, they end up being probably a bit of a chore for you guys to watch and a bit of a chore to make, so... I think I will try and aim for 25 to 30 minutes. Um, oh wow, doesn't like that spot. Let's purify not to. Something to celebrate. Also look at the hover scooter. Cool. I like it. Alright, let's officially... Uh, Add our final party member to the mix. And it's gonna open up its heart. Which is the best song from Sonic Adventure series. I honestly legitimately love the like cheesy butt rock Sonic Adventure music so much. Hooray! We got a little green bird. Please learn a psychic move. Psy wave, psy beam. Future sight's pretty good. Oh. Oh, that is not enough. No, we're not nicknaming. Okay. Hmm. Future sight is a good move, but not as your only psychic move. Okay, who's in chamber two? Swine up. It's a different beat. Nothing. Interesting. I wonder if it has to do with the Pokemon that are uh, in it. And then there's this song. <laughs> Alright, Grammar. It's been fun. We didn't use you even once. Uh, but we may in the future. I do... I do like Muck. Um, we will put Grammar in here. Okay. And hopefully... Swineub will help with this next uh, rotation. I want to get some more, you know, what are they, they're just called a set. I want to have some more, like, complete sets so we can Oh, that actually improved, improved the flow a little bit because poison beats grass. Yeah. Cool. I wonder if I could get it even higher somehow. Maybe if it's like dual type super effectiveness. Like for um, bug flying, have like a rock type against it, because it beats both bug and flying. Perhaps. Swine up is ice ground. Okay, we're good. Nice, good stuff. Um, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I know for a fact we don't have any more TMs, but geez, what is Natu's move set? That sounds a little bit worrying. 
Nightshade's okay, Aerial Ace is okay. His stats are... yeah, it's a special attacker, being a psychic type. Not all of them are, there are a couple exceptions to the rule, but it's not common. Hmm. Whoa, Future Sight's only 80? I think they increased it. Because it takes two turns for the move to actually pop off. So I think they increased it to like 100 or 120 even. Uh, but I could just be talking nonsense. Aerial Ace is not bad, it's unavoidable, it doesn't miss. Nightshade does damage equal to the user's level, so not to at level 22, it'll only do 22 damage. And that kind of becomes less useful as the game goes on. And since it has a set number of damage that it does, uh, I don't think it takes super effectiveness into account, I'm not sure. Maybe it'll double it. Uh, and Baton Pass is also not super useful because he doesn't have any stat moves. So overall, Natu has some work to do. Um, but if I recall correctly, there's a TM for the move Psychic in that tower where I believe I got Ice Beam. So that said, I'm going to save my progress. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.